Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the combo box? Add and remove option nodes. So this is our combo box, and traditionally, when you have options in it, you use the default options. And here we have the case of default option and bacon. And if we run this, you can see default option and bacon. However, you may want to adjust these at runtime, and for that we have the add and remove option nodes. So we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to hook up our add option node here. It takes in a combo box as a target, and it takes in a string as the option you want to display. In this case, this is my first option. And if we hit play, we're going to add this is my first option. And you'll notice it adds it at the end after our default options. And of course, it does it in order, so we can have two of them. And now we have default option, bacon, and then the two I added in order, first and second. Now, bacon's a little bit out of place, so we're going to go ahead and remove it. In this case, the remove option takes in combo box as a target, and then a string as an option. And it outputs a true or false boolean on whether it was removed successfully. So if we hit play, you'll notice we now have default option, first and second. No more bacon, because we've removed it. Now this one's kind of important, so we'll do this is my, and I'll do second in all capital letters, option. You'll notice this string matches this string, except we have second in all capital letters. I'll hit play. You'll notice bacon's back, because we didn't remove it, but second option is gone. This is not case sensitive. Even though it's a string, it will still just do a lowercase check and remove it if it matches exactly. And exactly is important, so let's say we remove the N at the end of our string. Now it's option without the end. We're going to go ahead and hit play. You'll notice we all have four options back now. Second option was not removed simply because it doesn't match exactly. Now a use for this is able to add in multiple things at runtime based on design decision. So if we remove these, our default options are now nothing. We have nothing in our combo box when it starts up. However, somewhere in our game, we have a classes array full of classes. These are classes for our game, traditional RPG type classes. And we want to add them to our combo box, so we're just going to loop through the classes and add each one as an option. And if we hit play, you can see our list of classes. And the nice thing about this is, if this is in one spot, our classes array, and someone decides, oh, we don't want Dryad anymore, for example, you don't have to go into anywhere that has this actual widget, maybe of multiple places with this selection box. You just remove it from one source, and then since we're doing this at runtime instead of design time, now the next time we run it, we've removed that option. And that's it. That is our add and remove option nodes for our combo box. They take in strings and combo boxes, and the remove option is not case sensitive, and we'll let you know true or false if it was able to remove something successfully.